So when it comes to controlling flatline plugs out of your drift boat, it's, it's really good to be pretty easy on the oars. You want to be pushing yourself from one side to the other, having really smooth kind of boat control and then picking a line. Uh, a lot of runs, you know, there's gonna be one side that has a trench or one side that's deeper with possibly bigger boulders. It always seems like there's one side of the river that's gonna fish and hold fish a little bit better than the other. And then it's just putting your plugs out at the same distance, uh, working them back through there, really taking your time, especially say you've had people that have fished the hole in front of you, you know, sometimes it's wise to put out plugs and kind of sit on it and see if there wasn't a, a hard to press fish that didn't bite before and giving it a little bit of time is going to get it to strike now, especially as the conditions get lower and colder. My favorite conditions to fish plugs would have to be real low clear water, uh, maybe really cold weather as well. If you have low clear water and cold weather, that's, that's the perfect time, you know, turn on the heater, put out your plugs and and just sit in a good spot and eventually you're either going to back back them down into one or one's going to move a little bit and that plug's going to be right in its face and the big key component to running plugs is having them out the same distance uh it's very wise to use the same same two rods or three rods if you're running three plugs using the same line same rods put them out the same distance that has to be the biggest components to being successful fishing plugs in a tributary setting or a small river setting you know and then just taking your time sometimes it's good to just let them soak back there for a little bit. Uh, nowadays, with how good our plugs are, you know, they're not little hot shots anymore. You can sit there, you can wrap them with coon shrimp, wrap them with tuna, wrap them with all sorts of stuff, and that'll add too, especially in higher, more off visibility water. Wrapping them with a little bit of coon shrimp or winter steelhead, that can be a big, big game changer, even in low water. But really, my personal favorite is fishing plugs and low water conditions and when it's colder out. That seems to be when I'll do my, my best on them. I really like running my plugs. I use 30 pound braid and a lot of people will tie in monofilament bumpers, but if you have a soft glass rod, I really don't think you need to. As long as you have your drag set properly and uh, have a good soft glass rod like the Lama Glass Classic Glass Rods, which is a pretty inexpensive rod, but they are, they're perfect. And now they're making the the battle glass rods, which is a, a very great rod, you know, I mean, you don't need to go high end to catch fish. Fish don't know how expensive the rod is that you're using. So as long as you have a good rod, good reels, good line, you're going to get them. And the biggest thing, especially plug fishing, not having your drag set too tight, just right. So when they want to zip out some line, they can, and then having a soft rod so it's not working against you and it's just letting them just take it and also just reeling on them and not not getting too crazy. You know, when you're plug fishing, you gotta be very patient. When the rod slams down, you just don't wanna go for it. You really wanna make sure it's there. And I like to make sure a little bit of line's coming off the reel so you know they got it. And then you don't wanna be high sticking them. You just wanna keep the rod up and just good tension on them and just play them out. And that, that, should, that should put them in the net for you.